Oh, my goodness. Well, Jane Danson, who plays Jan, of course, is here now. <gasps> he hasn't gone and taken him, has he? Well, that's a big question. It's, it, this is the climax of, uh, of the story. I suppose the custody battle over Simon mm. has been ongoing for a while. And it's, yeah, Peter's gone. Um, Leanne doesn't know where he is. He's t obviously taken Simon. And <sighs> Leanne's a bit concerned as to what his whereabouts and what he's going to do with him. So she's in a bit of a panic. Because Leanne has... She, she wasn't aware that he'd been taken. He took no. him from school. And he's, it, Peter's in a really dark place at the moment. been in the middle of all this. So this really is the end of the story. So, uh, oh yeah, tonight's the night. Uh, mm. We often ask and wonder sort of where the motivations come. I'm wondering whether being a mum yourself has, has helped I think, to find. I think it's certainly... You, you, I know what it feels like to be a mum. And, you know, and I know what the love for a child is like. Um, and you try and put yourself in that situation. Um, you know, this is a breakdown of a family who've had massive problems with alcohol, with infidelity, and I think this is, you know, this shows that she she does really love Simon, she really cares about him, and that's the one thing that Leanne was particularly good at, and it's kind of slipping through her fingers. Yeah, my goodness. How are you two? Mine life? are great, thank you. Good morning, boys. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they might be, Harry and Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and your big boy, <laughs> Rob, as well. Good morning, darling. <laughs> one shoveling the cereal into their mouths. Yeah, having be. manic hour while yeah. sat here all relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher's presence this morning, yeah. So Harry must be, what, year one? Yeah, he's coming up to the end of year one. What are you yeah. going to get? Well, it's top secret because the teachers might be watching. Oh, but, um, good point. I just want to say... That's a good I, game. <laughs> I, th I think they do a fantastic job. You know, we had yeah. um, open evening a couple of weeks ago and the amount of work that they do and the thing... You, know, you ask your kids what they've done in the day and they mm. kind of say nothing. And you sort of think, oh, they've probably just done a bit of playing and yeah. a bit of reading. But they do so much work. It's extraordinary. With large class numbers as well. I think hats off to the teachers. Yeah. I went in to do a little bit on reading. Yeah, you know, and really of course they've got a great order. So, look, I mean, it is amazing. You've had this huge, exciting story online recently. But it's 97, isn't it, that you came into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I know you went away. It's been amazing. Can you remember your first day? Because you were very young, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was 18 when I started. Yeah. Um, and it was, it really, it sounds a bit corny, but it was really magical. It was like a magical, you know, it was a life-changing moment. Mm. And um, four of us, all the Battersby's, went through it together. And we've all stayed in touch. And, you know... But you're the lonely, the last one left us, isn't it, though, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, the last one. Do you think they'll ever come back or whatever? I always keep my fingers crossed. Right. It's, it's nice to go and explore other roles as, as everybody's... Focus now, of course. Do you, yeah, do you, I, do you look I think it's an act. So, yeah, you, you, you know, you... You're kind of always hungry to play other roles, yeah. um, mm. and it is unusual to stay in the same job for a long time. But having said that, the, the storylines and the platform that Corey has given me in my career is now yeah. I kind of think, yeah. why would I want to be elsewhere? Yeah. Um, and I go home every night to see the boys, yes, and that's lovely, it's isn't? lovely, and it's a great place to be. And I've grown up there, so but yeah, I, yeah, of course, you know, there's always a little bit of you that's have itchy. a pit, do <laughs> go for it now. <laughs> well, she's had some dark times, maybe some happier times ahead. That'd happier be nice. times, all yeah. right. That's that's, that's, that's one do. for you, so absolutely. Right. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Wow. And Coronation Street's Leanne, actress Jane Denson, is actually... I've been telling you all morning that she's going to be here, and now she is. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, I mean, oh, I mean, this storyline has just been fantastic. A fantastic view as an actress. Oh, it's been but a joy. Because yeah. Peter's a mess, but Absolutely. He's, a, he's a sweetheart underneath it all, isn't he? I think what's been particularly brilliant about this story is you can see it from everybody's point of view. Exactly. You know, main, the four main characters are Simon, Carla, Peter and Leanne. And you can see it from every single point of view. So, But that's why we stay... Mm -hmm. people People have really invested in it mm. and we've had a great response and it's been brilliant to do mm. um, quite sad as well really, really enjoyed watching him grow as an actor oh, actually hasn't he he's yeah. really coming to he's, um, very... the show almost half his life already yeah which is astonishing and he's he's so good and he doesn't just come in and say can i have a biscuit please mum he drives the of lines to remember and he's mm. only 10. um so, so do you feel so of late in the last few months it's yeah. been so full on that yeah alex and i have spent a lot of time together um now that the storyline has come to an actual end i've had a bit more downtime and i'm back yeah. with my own children <laughs> so wonderful as an actor but it's it's nice to have that balance of well i life. think it was my heart pieces when when you're no I don't. you have to be and with Simon and Nick, that's the next best thing to Peter. And even though Nick's lovely and she, she's very fond of him, 
I don't think she's really in love with him. Do you think she's still... The thing is, whatever her... he does, she's the one. Yeah, I think what I love about her is that she's, she does redeem herself mm. with each storyline. She, she, There is emotion there and she, she just wants to be loved. She's mm. always been abandoned throughout her whole life. Mm. Um, and with Peter, she, she did mess it up initially. But mm. she, she just wants that stability in that family life. And I think for me, ultimately, doing this storyline, it's, it's so sad to see the breakdown of this family unit. It's real life. Exactly. Again, that's, well, that's why we love Corrie so much. Yeah. You know, you, it's been 15 years. <gasps> now, I, I mean, I'll... That's a whopping it's, time, in, in oh, it? Yeah, isn't it? And when you originally came in, the bat who's the, who, What's the girl that played your sister? She was oh, fantastic. Georgia. Yeah. Because you're still mates with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, and Vicky as well. We're very close. So would you like it if they came oh, back? My dream. Really? My dream, yeah. We, we went through such a, an amazing time in our lives yes. together. I think we'll always have that bond. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was a really special time, and I'm, I'm always kind of... See yourself staying long-term. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I never anticipated being there for 15 years. I did take a, a short break, but as long as, you know, I've got this great character and they want me there, then I'm happy exactly. to be there. And I would imagine that it works quite well, because you've got two young boys, yeah. haven't you? Is yeah. it, you can match and you get nice downtime. Yeah, and I think the, the main thing for me is I go home every night, and as a jobbing actor, that would be very difficult yes. to do. And being so young, I, I just want to be with them and, and go home yeah. every night, and that suits me, and, you know, I think... I need them as much as they need me, so yeah. it's, it oh, works quite well. Worked. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have no, one in we don't actually. Oh, That's right. something that we, we've all because we've all lots of us have got very small children. Yeah. Um, some of school age and some preschoolers. Um, something that would be fantastic, but it's just not happened as yet. But uh, yeah, I think it would be a great move. Yeah. Now, is your little boy's birthday this weekend? It is, is on Saturday. Is the so far every birthday's had it's been gorgeous. So I'm holding out for some sun. <laughs> and and what do they think of us? Harry's six on Saturday and oh. my youngest Sam is three. Yeah, I'm on television because yeah, of the people say, yeah. have you had that A little Sorry. bit. I mean, he's, he's mainly in bed when Corrie's on. So he might see me on, on a magazine and say, why you want that? And sometimes when people stop me in the street, he gets a bit confused. But I'm aware of it, but it's not really had a massive impact Does he get protected? People can't. <laughs> Talking. He's a bit quizzical about it. He kind of says, well, why are they talking to you? But he, he'd rather watch cartoons. So Does he get... My father was an actor when he used to do scenes with other children. During the day, my youngest just said, that's not daddy. When I was oh. with Nick, I was following this bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's been an absolute joy having you here. Oh, I'm such a fan you. of yours. And oh, I look forward to watching you. the rest of the storyline. Thank you so much, Thanks David. A, a great nice weekend. Thank you.